It's 708 and we're headed down the driveway on the way to the track. Yay! Yeah. We have dots. It's 290 miles. It, when I unplugged it, it was 292, which is almost, um, I mean, it was 100%, but it, it used to charge up to like 297, but it charged up to 292. So we pretty much got a full battery. According to Ruby, we will reach the Rocky Mount Supercharger at 8.20 a.m. We've been instructed to charge as close to 100% as we can at the Rocky Mount Supercharger. I guess for the guys that really want the absolute maximus most speed, they need the highest battery state of charge they can get. There's level two chargers at the track to top, to top the car up to or to keep plugging it in in between laps or that kind of thing. I'm not too worried about absolute maximum performance. I'm just looking to have a good time out on the track today. So the weather is yucky this morning. I mean, we kind of knew when we woke up it was going to be yucky and it's only supposed to be improving throughout the day, but it's wet out there and Ruby says it's 46 degrees and I don't think we're going to see the sun at all today. It was really hard to know what to wear to be outside at the track for an extended period of time, especially for the spectators. Some of us will be sitting in the car for a while. Yeah, probably the thing that will be running the <laughs> fastest is the heat. <laughs> or the Funny. hottest. That's right. Well, I have my seat warmer on anyway. Sorry, Kyle, but, you know, the girls got priorities. What can we say? We're just a Chick-fil-A kind of a family. I believe we're having Chick-fil-A catering for lunch and we're having Chick-fil-A for breakfast. No complaints from this car. We're uh, making good progress this morning. We should get to the Rocky Mount Supercharger about 8.35 a.m. We're right on target for where we wanted to be. I, I wanted to get to the morning session somewhere around halfway through so I could film the cars out on the track a little bit. It's 8.36 um, and we've made it to the Rocky Mount Supercharger. For future reference, the uh, Texas Steakhouse and Saloon serves breakfast. So I had gotten Don this pair of lined blue jeans for that one time he might have to wear them. And uh, today's working for you, huh, Donnie? Yeah, I'll tell you, you would think I was in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's the only one here charging right now, but we're expecting Joe and his Model 3 to show up uh, pretty soon. Johnny waited inside. We were able to go in and use the restroom with no awkward moments of, do you want to eat breakfast? In and out, no problems. But even though the guys are parked with the space in between, the pedestals are not numbered the way you would think and Don's actually in 4A and Joe's in 4B but neither of us has a very low state of charge so we don't need 116 kilowatts we just need to keep on what we've got we're running at 40, over 40 kilowatts we're at 45 which is what we were before he plugged in right and he's up at 42 now so the, in our particular case the fact that we're sharing a pedestal is is no big deal because yeah the battery's too full to make full use full. of the yeah, yeah capacity we're at about 96 yeah. percent we're calling it good enough we should get up to the nc car track at about 10 a.m who knew the track's right here where the lowe's distribution center is that's the entrance to the track nc car north carolina center for automotive research We are signed in and ready to rock and roll. This is the morning group. They are getting ready to go out on the track. I presume they've been out there one time already, but I don't know that for sure. How's it going? Good to see you again. <laughs> I know they need to keep the car spaced out. I don't want anybody too close to anybody else today. mixed in here with the Teslas. Let's go! <laughs> it was silent until then. Kind of sounds appropriate for the track though. I 
I needed to use the restroom. <laughs> And so we stole, we confiscated a mini <laughs> to take me back to the nice bathroom. <laughs> that, and maybe I'm so cold that I just want to go inside to a, like a real structure for a minute. The Although building with the real warm bathroom. <laughs> Did I say it was cold out here? Yeah, I got to change. So what are you, what are you doing, Johnny? Yeah. Yep. Hey, Ellie girl. Hi, I'm glad Baby to see sitting you. the big lens. Gotta make sure it doesn't get tipped. Don's here with his right, so one wheel. See, Don's off. So the beginner, the slower group, the group I'll be in this afternoon, they're out back on the track now. So slip start on. I wish we had track mode. Okay. All right, Don and I are both in the car. With uh, Kyle. Please He's make gonna... sure your seatbelts are on. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Well, I'm not on yet. Yep, but I'm He can tell. Really I'm sure it's. Wow. Yeah, wow. I was like, you are going to slow down for the curve, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> I love it. The three handles so well, doesn't it? And wow. Look at you. Look right at you there. sticking to the curve. Right. Hard on the uh, brakes here. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I, I won't be doing this, but I love it when Kyle does it. <laughs> <laughs> so the red dots are the apex markers that we put out there for people to use as a general rule. Uh -huh. So you can kind of aim for the red dots. Oh, I see the red dots. Right. I, I believe that that's I when you should speed it. up or no, a break that's the or point where you want to get close to the inside yeah, of the that's okay. it. That's right. the point. And we'll, then we'll start opening it back <laughs> up. We're gonna throw it pretty hard here. You can see it does a pretty nice job, right? It you does. the ESP trying to get the car back in line. <laughs> yeah, kid, you you did good getting Kyle to take it. I can't I can't drive this like this. <laughs> well, That's Kyle's I don't, right I'm with practice. And Kyle's driving. used to this track. Years He's years been ago, around I here. Could give you a run for the money. Like, whoa, baby. And we'll just keep it nailed down the whole straightaway, right? Oh, that's just so she's on the floor right now. Yeah. That's all she's got. That's everything she's got. So she made it to 100. So the straightaway is not quite long enough for you. Right. Because you really can't get as high as you want to get. Right. <laughs> See, this is where I would have my trouble. I wouldn't know how far, it would, how fast it could come down from 100 to make the curve. Better sooner than later, right? Better sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. And, and the brake pedal I can already feel is getting a little squishy because these have really low temp fluid boiling points. Right. So you probably, best bet is to get a little bit of upgraded fluid and pad material as a good right. like, brake upgrade. Well, I can see you said the one person was feeling a little queasy this morning. I can definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say you're probably going to have to pull it at this lap. Yeah, just, I'll end it here. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to make it sound that bad. Yeah, I, I probably had it out. Yeah. <laughs> at least for not, that. I'm very happy the seatbelts were good. Because yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have the seatbelt holding me in the seat, I'd be on the, out, I don't know, I'd probably be injured back here. <laughs> oh, you ought to be me up here trying to hold oh, the camera still. Three-handed the camera so up here. So you feel ESP. I'm floored. You can see the yeah. little light going. Oh, right yeah. Adjusting yeah. power. We'll just show. Yeah, it this over curve here. over here is like wicked at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you do like it that I laugh all the way yeah. through instead yeah, of scream, right? Yes. <laughs> and then we're gonna pull. I trust track. you completely. Yes, we. To I do could, crazy driving. Do I can't. You, I could not drive you like that. Thing. I'm sorry. I'm not even close. As close <laughs> as I'm ever going to come to a full track. Thank you, Kyle. Maybe. That was that we was get great. You out in something real fun. That was great. Oh, yeah, that, no I, I thoroughly I enjoyed it. Well, Don I and I have had our thrill, and Johnny is now piling into the car with Kyle. Now Johnny's been, you know, in the car with Kyle before, so. So Johnny is in the car with Kyle. And uh, I think this is them. There's so many black threes. Yeah, this is this is them. And um, I 
really pushing it. So Johnny, how was that, buddy? Was that okay? Did he do all right, Joe? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? They're going out for one more, uh, one more round of track time, and Kyle is out there on the right, making sure to space them out. They're only allowed to pass on the straightaway, and people have been really good about that. You can see the green flag in the infield in there, so you kind of got to watch for the flag, checkered, red, green. But yeah, they're spacing them out because this is not a racing event. It's a spirited driving, learn some driving skills event. So the one Ferrari out there is definitely making it sound like a real racing event. It's pretty crazy when they come down on the uh, straightaway. Some of the drivers are going faster than others. <laughs> Freezing, but it's worth it. <laughs> Johnny is doing an excellent job babysitting Ellie. The job he was hoping to have today. Ellie! Hi, pretty girl. And uh, Ben's going to walk us through a little bit about the day. Um, I don't know how this has been. Hi. Um, you'll see us running around. First off, if you have any questions about anything, you can see myself, Ben, or Alyssa. Alyssa's running around doing something now. Um, if you have questions about driving, you can see me, Ben, Raz, uh, and Chelsea. So, uh, you know, they're very experienced drivers, spend a lot of time on track. And if you want to go real fast, hang out with Raz. Raz knows. I have fun goes, Kyle. I'm, I'm, I'm just. Right, if you like to go sideways in a big cloud of smoke drifting, that's yeah. my thing. Raz <laughs> is actually about lap times so and an extremely quick driver. Were you only driving for our earlier? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was fun. It was yeah, very composed, very nice. Yeah, yeah. the Ferrari owner had left after the AM session, but uh, Raz got to take it off for a race, which is pretty fun. <laughs> so Ben's going to walk through a little bit about how the day's going to look. We're pretty much planning on going hot on the track probably in 30 minutes, 25 minutes from now. So realistically, Elon time, 1.45. <laughs> Sometime before 2 o'clock we'll get onto the track. We're going to be split into two groups, a fast group and a slow group, or an advanced group and a beginner group. Mm -hmm. um, think about when you hear Ben talk through everything, what group you'll best fit in. And um, again, if you don't know, that's totally fine. Probably start with the beginner group. We can always move you around. It's move not around. like we're stuck in one or another. And Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's take it away. pretty loosely structured as far as that goes. It's more about getting people confident and, you know, we may take someone from a past group and say, oh, we need to slow you down a little bit if it comes oh. to that even. <laughs> so this is the track that you'll be driving. This, probably right about here, is where that gravel parking lot you all park in, and this is that road here. When we go to the track, we're going to go down the, the road just kind of straight the way you came in, and there's a big like concrete parking area, and where the line is here, a little picnic area. That's where you can spectate and watch. There's picnic tables, we've got waters over there. It'd be a good spot to watch, chat, share what you've learned from the cars. Uh, and what we'll be doing is we'll be getting you know a faster group out first, and then or you know a more confident group to say out first, and we'll be lining up down in that concrete area, and we'll be letting people know when they can go. And you're not allowed to go on the track unless someone has waved you on. We'll have some news controlling that. And the same thing with the exits. So we want to make sure it's, it's a controlled, safe space that, you know, we're only going one way, we are going clockwise, so on this way. And just don't go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Don't our, our that happened by accident this morning. It, it can be surprising, yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and what, the way this is set up here, like, the cones, you may have to drive on, like, the wrong side of the road to follow a, you know, a path that we have set up. So keep that in mind. You're going to see Chelsea at the exit. She's right over here, mm -hmm. and she will be guiding you off the track in the correct way. Once we do it one time, you'll be totally set. Yeah. So. And I'll have a black flag that you can look for. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You don't want the black flag. But it will be out when it's you for the exit. come up. It'll yeah. be, yeah, exactly. So they're, they've got, I wish we had flags here. Uh, uh, they were just over here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I guess we'll talk just driving real quick. Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, yeah, talk about how to get on. I get black flag, though. So once we all line up at the, you know, invisible concrete parking area here for the people who are going to go out, we're going to get everyone. You do need a wristband. You need to have signed both waivers, which we have here. So if anyone hasn't signed that, we're going to make sure you do that. Uh, we've got name tags, so everyone we had a chance to do, we've made your name tag. It's pretty nice. Um, once you're allowed on the track, we're going to let them, cars on kind of, you know, if we have five cars, we're going to give them a couple seconds of space. So that everyone's separated. No one's getting too close. We don't want to have people bunching up. There's a rule about passing, and is you can only currently pass on the straightaway. We may change that depending on how maybe the advanced group is doing things like that. But the only way you're allowed to pass a car that's going slower is if they know that you're behind them and they roll their window down and they're pointing by. So you get pointed by essentially. So if you're behind them coming the straightaway, if you're in a faster car, even if there's someone behind you who's keeping up in the corners, you should just let them go by. Everyone that way can do it at their own pace. It should be relaxed. We're not here to race or prove anything. That's where it gets a little bit dangerous. So when you get pointed by, you'll be passing on the outside of this. Whoever is letting someone pass, you're going to stay close to the inside, close to the infield, and that and point them by the whole way. Come off the power if you need to let them pass you a little quicker. That way it's safe for everyone. The less time cars are spent next to each other, the, the safer it is. One of the things that we noticed, and throughout other track days you experience this too, is sometimes people with the fastest cars extremely quick down the straightaway, but not so fast in the corners. We're all here to have fun in the corners, so don't, if you have a performance car, P100D or Performance 3, and you're, you're going real fast down the straights, but slow in the corners, and you see cars behind you in corners, don't pull away from them on the straight. Let them go by, because they're likely quicker than you in the corner, mm -hmm. and then, you know, just, uh, you know, don't rip it down the straight exactly, in that particular yeah. pass, yeah. And, and, you know, we're not needing to go necessarily for the highest top speed, of course. I mean, you'll be able to hit 100 miles an hour very easily So to, in any car. It'll be fun. You'll get that experience if that's something you need to check off the list. But it's mostly going to be smooth driving. You know, we want to focus on things like following the lines. This red dotted line here is your racing line. We've got cones and red dots set up on the track. So, for instance, with this corner here, there's going to be a cone where the little black dot is a cone on the outside. So that's showing you where you're going to start the corner. So you're going to be on the outside of that corner. And then as you come in, you're going to tighten, and then this, it's a blue dot, but it's a red dot on the track. That, you're going to want to be at the inside, right next to it. So basically, you go from cone to dot to cone, and you be out on the next cone there. We're going to do a lot of just simple driving exercises to you know, make sure you're in safe control. So when you're braking, we're going to do that in a straight line rather than in the corner. And then once you're kind of near the exit of the corner, that's when you start bringing in the speed again. It's, it's really easy to get side track or almost tunnel vision with this course because it's a 40 foot wide track so it's really wide there's no lines on it your car is very quiet so it's easy to get going pretty quick and not you know realize how fast you're going visually you kind of have to keep it on the speedometer a little bit that's something especially if you've got a model three and it maybe isn't front and center you want to just get a, a feel for it and keep it on that so you're not getting you know overdriving the car um, right here this is again like the start finish line this is that parking area there's going to be someone right here in a little flag or stand. Little, there's a little tower, but he won't be in it. He's going to be down low, we'll and he's got it. the flags here. So yeah. you want to go to the flags? Here? Sure. Uh, the flag we all want to see is the green flag. <laughs> that means rip it, have a good oh, God, time. We lost it. Yeah, but we used it too many times, so I don't know where it went. It's out of the track. Then um, green means go. Right. So essentially, for at least in the beginning, the first couple laps that we go out, we're going to take you out behind a, a lead car. Everyone's going to go maybe 30, 40 miles an hour on the track mm -hmm. just to get a feel for it. It feels really different than driving on the road because everything's so wide. Um, so you're going to see this flag out whenever we're driving slow, typically 30 miles per hour or less. Uh, yellow means caution, just like a uh, traffic light. Yep. And it's look out for a potential hazardous situation. The track's pretty, pretty flat. You can kind of see everything. You can see almost so, everything from anywhere. Right, much. right. So if you see yellow, just slow down and be vigilant. Mm -hmm. If you see red, that means there's either a spill on track, someone's had an accident, or someone has stopped. For whatever this means, it means pull to the side of the track, not off into the grass. We're going to keep the keep cars on the there. pavement. But this means um, you know pull to the side as, as close as you can get to the edge and just slowly come to a slot. Then, you know, slam on brakes, hit ABS, and come to a stop and get rear-ended by someone. We're going to try to That could mean that. a car's gone off the track, and we need to go make sure they're all right. Whatever it is, that's, yeah. that's a, we want to keep an eye on this. Even if, you know, the, the flag is here, but even if you're here, you'll be able to see it. It's just like, keep an eye on it. If them. you cannot see the flag from where you are on track and you're coming to a stop, slowly move to a point 
where you can see the flag and we'll let you know when we go to caution or we go to black, which means pull off the track. Um, you're gonna pass the, keep an eye every time you go down the straight on the flagger, he'll be on the right side, you just glance over and um, you'll see if he's showing a finish flag. If he shows a finish flag, continue around, you basically get one lap to cool off your brakes or battery or whatever it is and um, then you're gonna see Chelsea and she'll wave you in to the gravel line. She'll line. be here where the exit ramp looks just like an exit ramp. Right. Much. And anytime you're not driving, you want to be charging. So the cars are going to use a ton of power out there. You'll see, you know, we're measuring in kilowatt per hour, not watt hour per mile on the track. So, uh, you know, you definitely want to, to make sure you're plugged in whenever you're, you're off track, if possible, yeah. of course. Um, one thing I think uh, is good to point out again is this big loop corner. It, feels really long. And just resist the urge to start accelerating like here. Wait till you're near the end. It feels like it's never gonna end, but you wanna keep a kind of a consistent speed and you wanna cut the inside the whole way through. Because it, it's easy with the width of that track to start going and realize, oh, it's there's still corner. Because it just feels like it, it almost looks straight after a while when you go around it for so long. Right. It mm -hmm. takes almost 12 seconds to get around just that corner alone. On a motorcycle, yeah. 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 So it's uh it's a cool track. Everyone um, you know, if you have questions, you can see any of us, of course. I think the, uh, we'll get there in just one second, but yes. Um, you know, the, the way it's gonna work from here, just to, to reconfirm, is we're all gonna get into the cars. We're gonna follow Ben around the track for pace car laps. It's gonna be everyone out at once, very slow. Just get a feeling for sort of where the lines are. You mentioned about the dots where the yeah. kind of so keep, are. This is a good time to keep an eye yes. and see where those are and kind of get a feel for like where you need to be. Right. So you don't feel bad if you space yourself out from the car in front a little bit, not to get extra speed, but just so you have a clear sight. We're going to pull back into the dirt lot, plug the cars in, and then we're going to reconvene. Ben's going to mark your car for the advanced group or beginner group to start. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start with the uh, the advanced group out first, and the beginners will have a chance to yeah. watch and ask questions and see if anyone needs instruction in your car. We're happy to uh, ride passenger at some point throughout your experience today. Of course, we don't have ever one instructor for a participant, but um, you know, we're, we're happy to. to and you're share also some welcome partners. to ride along with one of us. We, we'll, right. I'll be taking my car out so people can get right. a sense. If they don't want to go out and immediately drive and feel the sense of speed, we can do it that way, and that way you can get a little more comfortable with the feeling of it all. Because uh, it, it, a little new, you know. And this is a good time. This is Sam. Sam is basically NC car. He runs the whole show here. He's incredible. Um, again, he's a great resource to ask any questions about track or even driving. He's very quick. You'll see him. He has a pickup truck out there and he gets a little rowdy with it. But uh, <laughs> We just had the driver's meeting and we're promising to start off slow. 30 to 40 mile, you know, check out the track See, folks are signing the all important waiver. Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> so they are allowing spectators to take the initial 30 to 40 mile an hour practice lap. So that's cool. I think folks didn't necessarily expect that and they're looking forward Again, to it. Again, this is going to be the initial um, 30 to 40 mile around the track. Get used to the track. Learn how to follow cone, dot cone. Where you're supposed to be outside in the curve. Where you're supposed to be inside in the curve. Spectators, anybody that signed a waiver are allowed out in the track right now and even some of the spectators and their Teslas that are not drivers today are out there. So this will be a nice warm up. I'm looking at it as a There's Brian with I1 Tesla and Model 3. The afternoon fast group is getting ready to go. I think a lot of us are waiting for the slower group. All blacked out and ready to go. You can see red calipers, red calipers. He's got a helmet on. Smart kid. group is going. Don went to plug Ruby back in for me. It's a small height from here back to the car. I could walk it but it's convenient that Don's here to help me out. I, so I Kendall has wrapped his center console and I have to say I really like it. Joe's wrap also yeah, looks really good. It's the dark stainless steel. Well I'll be filming y'all be watching. <laughs> 
fast drivers, they're taking off. <laughs> Kendall says they put him at the, the back of this group. I'm sure he'll be fine. He did really good coming down the mountain after the Blue Ridge Parkway event. Sounds like a jet. <laughs> go, Kendall, go. Go, Kendall, go. Go, Kendall, go. <laughs> He's already on the brakes. He's having to slow down. All right, I had to get out of the wind. And there's, they didn't tell me there was a heater in here. I knew it wasn't windy in here. And I'm having drone envy. There's my girl. She's all nervous. But she has Raz in the car with her. And Raz is... Hi. Uh, hi. He's helping me with seating position. That's right. Raz is an ex very experienced uh, uh, type of driver. He's the quickest guy, they say. So she, he's giving her some pointers. All right, I'll let y'all do your business. Let's see. Okay. Let's let's work on the seating position just a little bit. Okay. Um, you want to stretch out your arms, and you want to have, like, right here by the palm needs to rest. Stretch out arms on the top of the steering wheel. Okay, so I'm too close. You're too close. You're too close. You don't want to get too close because you want to be able to move your hands around the steering wheel as you turn. So okay. if yeah, try try to stretch out. Just lay them on top. Maybe a little bit closer, actually. A little bit closer, then and that'll be good. Hi, he's helping me with seating position. That's right. Raz <laughs> is an ex very experienced uh, uh, type of driver. He's the quickest guy, they say. So she. So I'm good now, you think? I think you're good, yeah. Okay. As long as you can get the get the hands all the way around, because when I was driving the Miata, because there was also crap, my my knees were up here. Uh -huh. I couldn't get my hand around. I, c I couldn't take hard rights. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take this off. I know you don't care, care, but oh, it's fine. We'll 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 take it easy and then we'll just get a feel for it. I almost chickened out back there. It's oh. partly the crowd. Oh no, you'll be fine. I'm the girl that comes out of parking lots on the way home from dropping my kid off from school in the morning and floors it when nobody's <laughs> looking. Okay, but I don't um, drive fast on the interstate. Like when mm -hmm. I'm traveling from place to place, I put it in cruise yeah. control and I'm just a well, I'm a good girl. Well, we'll keep an eye on traffic, make sure we don't hold anyone up. We'll, I don't need we'll these to, to see, but I'm used to having them on, so I'm trying mm -hmm. to decide. I don't need them for distance. I only need them for a close-up. Okay. I'm trying to decide. So, I'm used to them on. So, on is better. So, so the trip behind track driving is really, it's not like autocross where people go fast, left, fast, right. The trick to track driving is to keep your vision up, and you have great visibility here. Right, so, I love there's no banks yeah, on yeah, for beginning yeah, for yeah. beginning driving. I think yeah. no banks is good. Yeah, and then also very nice and smooth, consistent movements. Nothing too jagged. The car is gonna try and grip as much as it can. If you turn too fast, you're gonna upset it. But when we get out there, you'll see the cones, the dots, and the cones. I'll tell you when to turn in. Turn in means start turning in. If I tell you to open the wheel a little bit, that means go back to center. Like open it up. Okay. Um, I use some other terms such as track left means move over to the left side of the track. Okay. Track right, to right side of the track. Okay. Track center, center, center line of the track. Um, but yeah, we'll just get a feel for it. I won't let you do anything uh, too hazardous, so it's okay. Consistency is key. See, the 
it fixes all the way down on the other side of the turn. If you turn in too fast, you're going to get pushed out. If you turn in too late, well, you're going to pinch yourself up. And again, nine and three. Not allowed to move it, huh? Not allowed to move it. No. <laughs> okay. That's going to, you're going to have to, you can fuss yeah. at me. Oh, that's fine. I'll fuss. Track center, then over towards the apex, go towards the right. And now this is that long left. So you just want to, you the just want to turn The 12 second in. turn. Yeah, you just want to turn in and you can feed in more power. If you get too close to the center, you can get a little bit more power. If you get too close to the outside, a little bit less power. You're really not steering the car as much with the steering wheel as you are with the car. Nice and smooth, just move all the way around. Here's the apex. Now you want to come out to the track center right here. A little bit break. And then apex seats all the way down there. I was hoping you could tell me I could break. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, like, I want to break. <laughs> stay, stay right, stay right. Sorry. And then you want to track out left. Let the car carry you out to the left. And you want to turn in here. See the apex. And feed in more gas and let the car bring you over to the left. See there. Okay, good. There's the cone, it's late now, but it's there. So turn in now. Same thing down here, just the other side. So turn in now. Be sure to hit the apex, stay on the right side. Turn in left now. And then down here, I want you to stay left more than you think. So stay here, turn in now. So the apex is all the way around the corner. So now, and now you can feed in throttle, and you can go fast if you want. I've never been over 100. Oh, we'll go over 100. We will? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It'll be fine. It's okay if I don't feel like it the first time. Perfectly fine. Okay. We go as fast as you feel like. Red is actually uh, another one of the instructors here. She's kind of going out, I guess, and give a coach. Uh, Ben's probably going to be driving that car. Yeah, Benjamin's driving. And then this little, um, I don't know, what they're spacing the cars out. There she goes. There goes my girl. Lights aren't on yet. Look, no brake lights, no brake lights, and there's no regen, so there's, you know, it is what it is. Here she goes. Take a little slow, but like I, 
there goes the brake lights. So she's in the corner, deep into the corner. She's almost to the apex. There's the apex right there. Okay. And then um, there's a hairpin. She's getting close to the hair, in, getting into the hairpin. Okay, that's the hairpin. She's actually in a hairpin. It's like a, a G bitty kick, like 180 degree hairpin. So she's coming out of the hairpin now. And then it comes down to a hard left hander into a chicane. So she's in that left hander. She's swinging a little wide, which is good. All right, now here's the chicane. A quick right and then a left. Okay, now this is a, a they call it the loop curve and it goes on forever. And it keeps getting a, a little bit of a decreasing radius and so it's getting uh, tighter and tighter. It's a really long curve. They said it takes even a, a good driver, a high speed driver, it takes 12 seconds to navigate through that loop. And then of course it's into a hard right hander coming out of that loop. And this is an, uh, a nice fading, uh, you can um, accelerate out of this curve here a little bit because it's uh, still a turn but it's uh, increasing in radius a little bit. But then of course it comes out up here and you go into another hard um, left hand turn. And it's, you kind of wind around a little bit. See, she's almost into the getting into the hairpin at the beginning of the straight. Now I expect my girl to do good coming out of this hairpin. All right, she's in the hairpin now, and she's probably once she gets all the way through the hairpin, she's gonna. I'm sure she has no problems with putting the pedal to the metal. So she, I'm sure the accelerator is all the way down right now. She goes by, right? Yeah, here she comes. She's in the hairpin at the start of the uh, straightaway. So I expect her to really mash it this time. This is her third time down the straight. Well, she's going to let this guy pass, so she's not taking off. She's letting these. This is going to be a slow lap. I'm going to. Oh no, well, she showered down on it. There she is. She's in the hairpin now. And then it's a uh, pretty sharp, sharp left hander uh, that gets you set up for the chicane. So she's in that left hander. Now she's entering the chicane. You know, it's a right and then a left. And this is a long left. Uh, she's supposed to stay really close to the inside of this long loop curve. It takes approximately 12 seconds, even at speed, to get around that curve. Now she's on the far back side of the track now. I'll try to catch her here. There she is. Expecting her to really do something here this next lap. So, Donnie, how many times have you been between the lot charging lot and the track so far today? I think About. This be my fifth time. Yeah. So, if you hadn't brought the, the unicycle, it would have been a lot harder. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, I wouldn't have held up good today having to do that walk in the cold. So, right. I really appreciate you retrieving Ruby for me. Thank, Thank you. You know, if you're a Tesla person, you're daring. Try this. Okay. This is her coming out of the hairpin. This is the second session. Raz is in there with her one more time. So this time I'm sure she's on it. Yeah, here she comes. Yeah, I would say Ruby, Ruby is scoot. Woo! You go girl. 
Uh, she break, broke a little early, but that's all right. There's that right-hander at the end of the straightway. It's pretty long. And it leads into an even tighter right-hand hairpin. Okay, she's into the hairpin right now. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job with the camera motion. She's out of the hairpin now. She's into a, a left-hander. That leads into a right hand, left hand chicane. Here he goes. There you go. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she's that's a long loop there. Um, it takes about 12 seconds, they say, at speed to get through that loop. And then it comes back to another hard right-hander there. And it comes back up, and this is kind of a sweeping uh, right Ellie. there. Okay. There's a little bit of a left-right left up here at the top. Oops, sorry. She is. And here she comes. This is her second hot lap. She's into the hairpin at the start of the straightaway, coming out of that hairpin. There it is. That's the straightaway. So she's probably going to put it on the floor. That guy's not close enough to pass. Here she comes. She's moving. Hard time keeping up with her. There she goes. I tried not to forget everything you taught me while I was up there <laughs> running my mouth. <laughs> it was a pretty big high for me, though, you know. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. No, you want to pick it up fast. It takes a lot to really knock the rust off. You don't get that rusty from like a 20 minute break. There's that long left sweep. Yeah, you can really go much faster than you think. Definitely is picking up her speed. There is no doubt about it. Came in from my second um, session out on the Ride track. Enough. Raz went with me the second time okay. too. I asked because I wanted to make sure I stay safe, and I know I'm a novice driver out there. But it was a ton of fun. I highly recommend track day. It's good. It helps you with your skills and. I finally got over 100 mile an hour on the straightaway, so I'm really excited to have hit triple digits in my car, and Ruby and I are safe and happy, and 
it was a little bit of a distraction with Ben in front of me there because the competitive spirit in me popped out instead of following the line and I was listening to Raz I was I wasn't disobeying but it was a little hard for me to stay on task and have Ben in front of me because I didn't want to be left behind <laughs> I think Johnny has the need to go back on the track again Ben's driving somebody's three a performance three I don't know whose three it is but Ben's behind the wheel instead of Kyle this time so, you're gonna take Ruby out yeah well, hopefully I'll keep her out of the ditch that's the only thing I'm gonna all right yeah commit to well I tell you it was really hard with Ben in front of me because I'm very competitive and I wanted Ben I mean I wanted Ben so don't be competitive out there with the other men Don, hey, Don <laughs> the smart car's not up there is it mm, it's down oh, there you your little one wheel thing your yeah. smart car's okay, cool. Yeah, you your smart car's down there. Yeah. There yeah. goes Don. You let more of her out, Donnie? Hey. <laughs> Don's letting out more air because he says the tires are at 46 PSI and, oh wow, they are kind of warm. I mean, they're not hot to touch like ooh, ah, but they're like, oh yeah, that doesn't feel too bad out here considering how cold it is outside. Yeah, you feel the rims though, the rims are yeah, I think this is Don's, your first track experience too, right Donnie? Yep, Don's not been on a track before either. Yeah, Kyle doesn't want anyone to leave today that might even remotely want to get out there and not uh, not get a chance to go around, so. No, I'll let him have his fun without me. He didn't make me nervous and come with me, so. <laughs> Donnie, go! <laughs> I like how it does like the, like the... There goes Donnie! Okay, Don. Did you hear it, Kyle? You created a junkie. That was Don out there with those tires. <laughs> I wasn't filming, but Don went, Don went around that corner and Ruby made some noise. <laughs> All right, Don says he's getting off. He's, he's signaled he's leaving the track. Like, oh, yeah. like, I, I need to see this. How, how bad is it? 
It's bad. Oh, I was in someone else's car last time, so. Oh yeah, you hasn't progressed too much. But I heard my tires. <laughs> Kendall being in front of you, was it a little bit like it was it making you want to set, keep up with Kendall? I tried, but he, that guy's quick. Uh huh. So, how was it, Donnie? What'd you it think? Was fun. It was really good. Um, you know, it's like I never drove a car with traction control or, or an all wheel drive car, especially uh, hard before. And it's totally different. I've driven front wheel drive cars hard, I've drove real wheel drive cars reasonably hard. But that's the first time I ever drove an all-wheel drive, and it sort of wouldn't let you, um, definitely makes maybe a little overconfident that the little traction light was on, like, all the time. Really? Yeah. I never looked at the dash, I don't think, the entire time. Right. Well, I was so flashes. focused on doing what Raz was telling me to yeah, do that I never looked. The, yeah, it's in the upper, up the operator corner. Uh-huh. I'm, like I'm, I'm trying there. to help you. Uh, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, yeah. You're doing something, buddy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm helping you out here. I'm son. glad you got out there, Donnie. That's anyway. great. Kyle did good encouraging you to go and giving you the chance to get out there, too. Yeah, I, you know, somebody like Raz, he probably could have, you know, it's all you can do. It's a setup for a couple corners. You know, once I got in the corner, I can put enough, I can handle the acceleration to get out of the drive out of the corner, but I never felt like I really set up a corner well, maybe a couple times, because a couple times I did get to try to bump the back in a little bit to try to turn it, you know, to cut the corner. But, you know, I'm not that kind of a driver, so I just sort of, maybe, uh, like they said, on track mode, that would be easier to do, because I'm not saying the traction control was fighting me. I mean, obviously, it probably was saving my butt. Uh, it's more, uh, you know, it would need some Donnie. Yeah. So the smell of rubber was woofing me, <laughs> making me cough. <laughs> so so no it. exhaust, but rubber fumes, yeah, no huh? Rubber. <laughs> I would just like to say that this man completely ripped up the track. It was awesome. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> well, I kept up with that model. I think it was faster than the P100DX that was out there today. Not going to say anything bad, but yeah. you, you yeah. probably set the X record of the day. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, Way she cool. Was, she was, well, the tires, you know, they... Like I said, once I realized that, well, you know, there's a point in the curve, some of the turns are really long, take like a long time to get around to. So once you, even when you're crappy, but you know when you're pretty much done with the curve, yeah. and just floor it. Yeah, traction control will handle the rest. Take care of it. Yeah. Let that damn computer figure out what I need to be doing. <laughs> so Ben took me around the track and that kind of made my day. Yeah, that was even better than the other two times you went around the track. Yeah. Because it was in track mode, not re not base. Uh huh. So he was having some really good fun in the curves. Well, I'm glad you're between the dogs and the cars. It should have been an awesome day for you. It was. <laughs> so uh, we're several of uh, YouTubers here today. Here's Brian from My One Tesla. I know a few of you had mentioned that he was going to be here and to say hi and to you know uh, check him out. And here's Casey Green. He's got a newish YouTube channel. Yeah. Yep. So we got a lot of good video from us guys and everyone else that was here today and I think there'll be a lot of videos to enjoy in the coming week and uh, see what happened here. So, do you uh, like to add anything about your channel? Oh yeah, um, I'm Casey Green, that's K-A-C-E-Y, Green like the color. Uh, you can find me there. I do a lot of like uh, supercharger reviews and little tips and tricks for Tesla. It's all about the EV lifestyle with me and my wife. Check us out. <laughs> I'm Brian from I Want Tesla. I just I just do fun videos. Have fun with Tesla. Test all these things and have some dad jokes in there. And uh, check all three of us out. And also check out uh, Auto Spec Racing. Yes, they're, absolutely. Who sponsored this, this fabulous and event? They're going to be making some videos on this as well. Yes. We're going to have a lot of great videos. Yep. If you have a chance to come to a future track event with Auto Tech, uh, Auto Spec Motoring, you'll be glad you came. Even if you come from out of state, even it's a, a very unique, I think, experience here uh, and a lot, a lot of fun. And safety is priority with them. I mean, the first thing you do is a, is a several-minute safety briefing, and then you do a slow 
run up the track to make sure that everybody knows where everything is. They offer ride-alongs to make sure that you know how to afford everything. Yeah, it's a great experience. Yep. Right. Yeah. headed to meet up with some folks from today's event um, near Rocky Mount. Well, somewhere in Rocky Mount, just not at the Supercharger for dinner. Looking forward to that. It was such a fabulous day today. I just, it was um, exhilarating, exciting. Um, Johnny said he had a blast. He got to ride around the track, I think three separate times at least with other experienced drivers. Don got his chance. I got my chance. It was, it was a really good time. Um, Kyle and Ben and out of spec motoring and their friends and family that they pulled in to help. Um, they did those guys. They did a, did a great job today and um, really grateful to have had that, that opportunity. Now, if I could just get warmed up. <laughs> and, I know you do. So we're all enjoying being here at TAP 1918, I think is the name of the restaurant. And we're especially enjoying the heater that's right up there. <laughs> Dinner was enjoyable, especially the uh, company. And we've made our way just a couple exits uh, closer to home to the Rocky Mount Supercharger and are putting in just enough. We were going to get home at 6% and it's pretty cold out there and we're running the heat. So why risk it? When we left Rocky Mount, I think it said we'd get home with 25%. More home with 22%. But it shows we tracked really good to the line. Yeah, but basically that's really accurate, folks. I mean, it yeah. was off by only... Three percent. Yeah. One of our key fobs is generating an error that the battery's low. It's rained here during the day today. The, the driveway's wet. Some of the some of the roads in this in Fuquay were wet, and it was really windy when we went past Chick Fil A. The flag was like straight line. So, um, yeah, must have rained this afternoon, and a, and a good bit I would think with that wind to still be somewhere. 